Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general love reading. We're going to take a look at who's watching you. Some messages may or may not be for you. Take a fifth, leave the rest. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Also, if you want to subscribe to my OnlyFans to get more spicier readings, the link is in the description box below. Okay, so you've got palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Yeah, okay, so there's somebody here very stable. Also have the golden mirror. Um, <laughs> you got a narcissist watching you, Virgo. Someone who's a love bomber. Ooh, okay. Hold on, let's get more into this and see what else is going on. Okay. And the hammer. This is someone that you ended something with, but they're stuck in you. Virgo, this person, it looks like, yeah, they got their eyes on you here. Um, this is someone who's pretty much a self-sabotager. Someone's come, they want to like rebuild the relationship. There's going to be like asking you questions, be very persistent, try to work on this relationship. Okay. It's interesting because we have palm trees, paradise, a lot of tropical energy, I feel in relation to these readings in the past couple of days. So I don't know if that's someone who lives in um, maybe a tropical area. Or, I mean, I know even in like Europe in the north, there's places that have palm trees. So wherever there might be a palm tree, either on your end or this person's end. Okay, let's take a look, see what's going on here. Why is this narcissist, this self-absorbed, selfish person, why are they focusing on Virgo? Okay, they're bored. They're bored with their life right now. They're bored. They're bored. They're looking for a little little something something with you, Virgo. Hold on a minute. Let me see. Bored, stressed, full of anxiety, in arguments with someone or other people. Um, they are done with another person okay or they're bored with someone that they are with and they're having a lot of anxiety because they don't have anyone really else to go to except for you and they're keeping their eye on you watching you to see what's going on this person that must have been some kind of argument or a breakup or something along those lines happened um okay hold on a minute now let me see this could be a Capricorn for some of you. I'm just hearing it could be a Capricorn. Uh, what else is going on here? Okay. Oh my goodness, right? So I don't even know why I'm using this deck. I don't generally use this deck for these readings, but I don't, it came out. So yeah, a lot of conflict. I feel like this person, <coughs> they, yeah, they definitely ended something with someone because they got bored or there was arguing or fighting and this person um, they still kind of have their toe in the water with another person, but they're walking towards you. They're coming towards you. Okay. Um, a lot of disagreements, maybe competition, this person having, <coughs> excuse me, being very, um, abusive. Yes. And the seven of swords. So pretty much someone who's deceptive and, um, very strategic a trick trickery trickery okay or they got betrayed somebody might have like broken up with them or called them out on something wasn't doing the job for that person for this narc and the narc is like oh well if you're gonna give me a hard time then I'm just gonna leave and um, I'm not gonna put any effort into working on this relationship and I feel like that's what happened so they're looking at you Virgo, they're watching you. They have their eye on you. Let's see if we get any court cards to try to like really confirm this person. Now this could be a lover. This could be a friend. This could be someone, someone you've had an argument with or you've had conflict with. This person comes with conflict. If they don't get their way, if they, <coughs> gosh, my goodness, if they don't get their way or if they have to take accountability for anything, 
or if there's any confrontation, they split. They don't, or, or they, they redirect the blame. This person, a bit sarcastic at times, or just has that very like sarcastic energy about them. Um, at, always in ri like rivalry or disagreement with people. And they cause a lot of strife and tension and whatever they were doing before, they're still doing it. There's no, there's no major shift or change. I feel like they're just running away from something and they're because they're bored with it or they're just tired of it. And they need a new source of supply or they need more, um, more oomph, right? They're, they're basically not, um, with the Ace of Wands in the reverse, like, there's no passion. There's no passion or they're feeling passionless. Okay. So yeah, they're coming towards you. Now, I mean, I was picking up Capricorn vibes, but it will say, you know, like if a court card shows up. Okay. Yeah. This person is like super secretive. Could be a Pisces as well. Could be a Scorpio. This person, um, they, oh my God, I can't even believe this. So they're saying this person causes conflict. They're very covert. So they cause problems. Um, well, they can be very covert. They destroy in silence or they destroy behind the scenes, like very secretive kind of energy. They cause chaos in silence so they do stuff behind the veil behind the curtain and they do that so they can't be pinned or they can't be accused you know this person is kind of, maybe they're a pisces i'm feeling like someone who's like a slippery as a fish someone who's slippery as a fish it just causes drama and problems and an energy of chaos let me see here You know, it's crazy as I'm doing this reading, I am breaking out in a sweat. <laughs> and I'm sitting under the fan of the, my air conditioner. And I don't, I'm usually freezing cold. But, <clears throat> and I can't breathe today. Oh my gosh, my asthma is like bothering me. But I'm feeling like sweaty. Like there's, I don't know if it's anxiety. If you're listening to this, I could be picking up on someone's like anxiety or stress or just this trigger. I hope that this isn't triggering you. If anything, maybe it's good for you to know that this energy is happening here. Um, I feel like this person just causes ruin in people's lives or just in general. They have a lot of confidence about that too. This is like, they have so much self-love that they can't love anybody else. Okay, so here you go. Here comes the either the apology or here comes if you know this person an apology um if you don't know this person here comes the sweet message the sweet text very innocent page of cups very innocent very creative message as well someone they come in very sensitive and like a very dreamy and curious and you know very intuitive giving you a message of hope and possibility. Um, yeah, that kind of energy. Isn't it great? Isn't it fantastic for you? No, not kidding. Okay, let me see. What is the deal? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was wrong. I made a mistake. Or, like, if you know them, or they will, if you don't know them, they will... If you talk to them, they will bring some kind of message of like, you know, whether you know them or not, um, you know, I had poor judgment in the past. I always choose the wrong people. A little bit of a victim kind of thing, but I always like I chose wrong. I dated that person for a while, talking about a past person, and I made a big mistake. And, and they will um, deflect everything that they did to another person. They will say it's being done to them, right? So kind of like, 
they're going to come in with this like opening up energy where it's going to be totally believable like he or she wouldn't forgive me and you know i know what my calling is and i'm going through this new phase and i just saw you and you know i'm so like that relationship was just awful i always say if you meet someone and they talk ish on their past person you know there's two sides to every story and i always question people who are they just they just go to town about their ex you know um i think like there's something going on there like either that person needs to get into therapy or they're just going to sit and blame and then the cycle will just repeat but anyway yeah I, I i rushed to judgment i read it i thought this was the one for me and but i think you know i've been watching you or, or our relationship before you know I always make mistakes and i made a mistake in our relationship so a lot of that energy playing out could be a leo for some of you could be a scorpio i already said that because that's there twice so okay <laughs> So you got the King of Cups, masculine or feminine energy, someone who keeps their emotions very secretive. They keep their emotions deep down inside. Now this card here, I will tell you, shows Aquarius Pisces energy. Okay. Um, but generally the King of Cups is known as the Cancer Scorpio Pisces, just a water energy. So this person, they come in, this is their energy and this is how they are with people that they date or people that they connect with. Um, they come in with these visions of grandeur and these ideas. And, but it's all, you know, they put someone on a pedestal. They have a lot of, tend to have a lot of um, either females around them or males around them. There seems to be like a lot of that player kind of indulging party girl party boy energy um oh everybody's just a friend i'm not involved with anyone but they're always maybe either buying gifts a lot of gifts for for certain people or um making promises um tell them about you know things they have in development or the plans they're going to make or their desires for the relationship this just feels like someone who's very immature you know the peach a pentacles it, the page is often like communication to me but in the pentacle realm this is all about these are my ideas these are the facts and my ideas and the things i'm going to do so they kind of hold up ideals and promises and plans about things that they want to happen or things they want to make real but they're really just flirting and just kind of having fun they're not serious okay because the three of cups is not a card of seriousness even though the king of cups can, or male or female like i said can be a very serious person um they have they float around a lot of ideas so if you know this person that might resonate for you you might not know them and they come in just watch out for someone who comes in with like all of these plans and these ideas and what we're gonna do together and where we're gonna go and all this cool stuff and you know my you know what i'm gonna do to you and what i'm gonna do for you yeah here's the knight of wands so very high energy very like push 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 go 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 kind of energy from this person passionate lustful you are so amazing you are so like a little bit of um yeah snake oil salesman saleswoman kind of energy snake oil salesperson making all these promises and you really don't know what's going on deep down because that this type of energy the king of cups generally keeps their emotions close to their chest they hold their hand they hold their cards close to their chest they don't ever really let anybody know what their deepest truth is okay they just kind of skim the surface with making i guess i want to say like kicking the can forward and making all of these illustrious plans okay so for you <laughs> yeah geez virgo let's keep it real here you got the two of swords just flew out in the reverse so some of you i mean this can be the lesser of two evils virgo virgo you might be like oh i don't know i can't make a choice i'm confused um information overload indecision i feel like you've got to be a little bit careful 
with the energy with this person um because i do feel like they will come in and try to give you all of that <coughs> goody two shoes stuff and you know sugar plum fairy energy um all of the sweets, the unattainable sweets that if you just chase after and keep chasing after this person in their sweets, eventually you'll get it. And then right when you think they're going to get it, they change the game on you um, to get this is all to get maybe a little bit of a wolf in sheep's clothing just to kind of get what they want. OK. Oh, yeah. And you know why? Because look at you. The Empress. You are going to be, masculine or feminine, the new best. You will be the new best. Okay, so, you know, this energy plays out August into September. I, uh, the rest of August in through like the first half of September, I feel like um, you have, um, oh, see, you're a target, a little bit of a target for this person because you have this soft, empathetic, um, vul vulnerable kind of thing about you. When someone touches you just the right way, like spiritually or emotionally, physically maybe, um, your soft side comes out, right? Because generally, Virgo, you know, you're, you're pretty tough. You're like um, hard shell candy on the outside, soft gooey on the inside. Um, as soon as you feel like this person is touching something in you, then you kind of open up a little bit, you let your guard down. And and so you might not always do that, but sometimes you do. And you, you, you wind up doing it with the right per the wrong person because either you're confused, or you're not trusting yourself because this person will cause you to doubt yourself. Well, they will do it behind the scenes, actually. Um, they won't do it overtly. They will give you all the, the sweet. They'll put all the frosting on your cake. You know, um, <laughs> am I talking about food? I feel like I'm talking about food. Um, it's always in this chat. It's always about food. So, hey, I might as well play along. But um, you might have had a difficult relationship in the past, too, with another person where this person might come across as, well, the lesser of two evils, so this might be better than before, but oh, I don't know, Virgo. I feel like, I feel like a lot of you know what to look for, but for those of you that aren't too sure, be careful. Okay, so. Six of Pentacles reversed. Virgo, good for you because you're going to see, oh, there might be some strings attached to this person. Yeah, I think you're going to, like, you're definitely going to question because Virgo, you just do that. You do question. I don't, there's not many Virgos. Like, Leo's flattery okay anywhere, but not so much with Virgos. Virgos are like, are you serious, dude? <laughs> with someone who's flattering too much, Virgos tend to just be like, you know, that makes me extremely uncomfortable. You're flattering me so much. Like, what do you want? What are you up to? <laughs> so with the six of pentacles in the reverse yeah this is definitely you being like hmm you seem like you're all about yourself you seem like very one-sided is what kind of strings there's some some kind of strings i feel like you're trying to take use all this flattery to have power over me or control me virgo i kind of feel like at first you're gonna be like eh, but i don't know something's gonna hit you either because you've been down this road before with this particular person or in your past you've had this kind of energy but this might be a um, different kind of breed of a wolf in sheep's clothing okay and this might not be something that you're used to this type of i hate using the word but the card is there this type of let's just say selfish person they come in a, a, with a little bit of an edge or a little bit of a twist that kind of makes you feel like, oh, they wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh, they're so sweet and they're so kind. But, you know, you, you get the clarity. You get the clarity. And I think, like, either you get the clarity of mind to cut this off and just be like, nah, no thanks. Or you get the clarity of mind to...
cut right through the BS in any kind of communication with this person. Because this can be mental clarity, it can be verbal communication with the Ace of Swords. I see you being very sharp-tongued or sharp-minded in regards to this. And for some of you, this can be a card of surgery. So some of you might just be like, I thought I surgically cut this person out of my life. And here they come. Or here they are. Yeah, so they're definitely, look, whatever you intend to do is on you. And I can see your energy here. But I do feel like this person is definitely swinging back around the block here. Or just swinging around the block towards you. Okay. And I feel like this is maybe a little bit of a heads up little bit of a warning here about this person um like i'm not seeing that this person is going to come in and do something to you but i do because you know it's not that deep but i do feel like this person's energy is unhealthy and i feel like they're going to be coming in to kind of like because they're bored or yeah they're just immature kind of childish a little bit here is that energy you know whether they're an actual narcissist or whatever they're just it's all about them just extremely selfish they have no one maybe a little bit of a leech i don't want to say like a blood sucking leech a little bit of a leech energy vampire let me see what your romance angels messages are here oh can you see they don't want to give you a card seriously okay well, that's interesting because they're both in reverse. Trust is in reverse. You cannot trust this situation. And retreat in reverse. Don't run away. I feel like stand up to this person. And tell them, like, absolutely not. This is, you are not my soulmate. <laughs> it's funny that they're in the reverse because they're not in the reverse. But those are. This person is not your soulmate. They might be a, a karmic soulmate or a soulmate which is comes with a lesson. So, you know, if this person is coming back around again, you might boundaries might be tested. That kind of energy. Um, let's see what your messages of love are in regards to this. You know, they always come back, Virgo. So if you've had a it, those types of people, they're never really gone. I mean, they maybe they could be gone for like thirty years, and then they reappear. It just it's just the way it is. You know, don't be flattered by it because it doesn't have anything to do with you. You know, you might think, oh, well, you know, I'm just, it's because I'm so great. Well, you are great, Virgo, but to this person, they're greater than you and they have to get their needs met before you're going to get your needs met. Okay. <laughs> I can't with these messages. Okay. Financial challenges. You could have a financial connection to this person. Maybe they owe you money and they're going to come in and try to, you know, Give you a little loving so that they don't have to pay you back or so that you'll just like maybe forgive the the debt or um or or try to get a little bit of money from you be careful of that um yeah i feel like they, they will definitely come in with the soulmate energy i love you i respect you i accept you I unconditionally love you. I'm, I'm not working. I'm not, I won't work as much anymore or I'm not working as much anymore so I can have time with you and try to strengthen the relationship. You know, if you knew them before, if you didn't, um, they may come in like, oh yeah, my last relationship just went to, went to hell because I was like so addicted to work and my person got so mad at me and they were always starting fights with me and they didn't understand that I had to work and wah, wah, wah cry me a river go cry some more and you know but I've, I've i've put work behind like you know i've put it behind me i'm i'm ready for a relationship i'm ready to make things work that kind of thing yeek normally that would be a good situation if this selfish narc card wasn't here okay but I've, i don't like the energy because it's very manipulative Okay, and there you go. Different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. Okay, so you definitely need to either, if this is someone that owes you money, 
and you don't want to have anything to do with this person, find someone to get in the middle between the two of you and just kind of have a liaison to deal with the financial thing if they owe you money, like a lawyer or something. Um, and maybe if you are on the computer, or maybe if you're on social media or something along those lines, maybe if you haven't already, try to either put away, stop looking at it, the computer, um, or block or restrict, I'm hearing, in some way, any kind of connection with this person. Some of you probably already have, I hear you. Um, but if you don't want that, if you don't want someone to come in and, you know, give you a hell, probably best to not leave the door open in any way, shape, or form. If you feel like you'd be triggered. Okay. So let me see what other messages there are here for you. What else? Just strictly for Virgo. Other messages for Virgo. Okay. You're going to be waiting for an answer. Or someone will be waiting for an answer for something. Oh. Hmm. Someone's going to sit. All right. There might be this question that gets asked. Are you spying on me? Are you watching me? Yes. Are you talking about me? There might be some gossip. You might be finding some stuff out as well. That there's some people talking about you or watching you as well. That are giving this person some information about you or telling them about you. And they are waiting to find out more about you as well. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> you have trust your intuition. The answer lies deep within you. Trust spirit. Wait for answers to be revealed to you. Some of you think that this person is watching you and you can't prove it. And maybe you're waiting to find out or to hear something. <laughs> Wait for it to be revealed because they are. They are. They are definitely watching you. And this is going to be... Um, this is definitely tonight's reading for sure. Who's watching you? absolutely this person is watching you so remember i said the king of cups so they could have water in their chart uh anywhere doesn't have to be their son they could be a taurus or they could be a sagittarius and you know be heavy in water element in their chart or they could actually be a water sign loving older female okay that's the water sign again but it's in the reverse so this is someone who is smothering very insecure and addicted someone who is an emotional manipulator um can be an emotional abuser as well could be a codependent like to the extreme someone that plays the victim often to get sympathies or to play on someone's sympathies okay emotional wish granted in the reverse so um this is someone who's greedy. Looking for a quick fix, a quick result. Um, visions of grandeur. I just keep telling, they, I keep hearing that. Um, they're trying to get their, their emotional wishes met by way of greed, you know? Um, this is someone who is kind of like, I'm hearing somebody gained weight somebody is gaining weight or has had weight gain and is has gotten slimmed down a good bit um i feel like this person is extremely lazy rather than actually put in the effort do the work to make something happen they would rather go for the quick results you know um i'm just feeling like maybe this person gambles there could be an addiction to gambling or um, instead of going and getting a job and doing the actual work, they this person gambles or they spend other people's money or you know they're they're always trying to make fast a fast buck. Um, and I'm also hearing um, oh okay, it just went away. Now it was there and now it's gone, just like that. 
Oh, okay. They're saying instead of somebody putting in the effort to have a healthy physical relationship, physically intimate romantic relationship, this is someone who runs to the hub. You know what I mean? Like that's like an addiction of some sort. There's there's something, even some, oh my gosh, some fetish kind of stuff going on, like secretive even, I should save this for the OnlyFans, but I'm just going to say it like, Well, I'll just say some kind of freaky fetish kind of stuff that you wouldn't know about. <laughs> Let's just put it that. Let your mind just kind of go wild in that area. I can't, I, I can't be specific here, but yeah, it's something that's like kind of like, oh my gosh, something way off. Like, I don't even know. I can't say it. Maybe an animal kind of thing. I don't know. That's so weird. I don't want to. I'm done with that. Why are these cards all showing up in the reverse? Okay. So th this person is definitely very unstable. Very unstable. They are. <laughs> very ar argumentative. They're moving out of their home or their apartment or wherever they were living because of their own doing that they blamed on another person. <laughs> this person's a real a-hole. Spying and deception. A lustful, a lustful, fiery spirit coming in wanting to commit to this relationship. Done suffering with the past person. Ready for something new message from an admirer virgo you got your hands full and here's the devil toxic city okay this is definitely an energy of someone who has that devil energy for sure that's a demonic i don't know if it's a demonic spirit but it's just someone who is extremely like controlling possessive just ugh, yucky energy yucky yucky let's get some good news for you virgo what is virgo's good news give something good to virgo while this energy plays out let's see some good news what's some good news for virgo for the rest of august Ooh. <laughs> So you got the Knight of Wands. Okay. Well, that's by itself. So that's neither good nor bad. Let me see. I, you know, I'm having such a deja vu. I remember doing a reading that was almost exactly like this on my other YouTube channel years ago. I'm feeling this deja vu energy. Okay. So you are clear. You have clarity of mind. I, I can tell you that. Like you're speaking your truth and you got your back turned towards that um, immature, lusty, in and out kind of energy. Yeah, because that message comes through and you're definitely going to call somebody out. You have the strength, you have the fortitude to face something here and to just kind of knock one out of the ballpark here. Virgo, like, I, Virgo, you don't like people who lie or just try to deceive you because you are so, like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you, you're so aware. That's what the, when you come in in that Queen of Swords energy, like, you're so freaking honest um, and intentional and you're very strategic in, this, in the way of, like, your analytical thoughts, you know? Like, you you're, you have that Merc Mercury energy, which is very similar to the Gemini in the thought process the only difference is that gemini's air and gemini doesn't get go down rabbit holes and get stuck in stuff um but you guys have similar thought processes because of mercury right however be more like gemini in the mind where you call it out and then you leave it like you keep you go with the wind right you don't stay there right because virgos can Geminis have the analytical energy as well. They can see things just as clearly as Virgo can. But Geminis don't get stuck. They're like the wind. He's like the wind. She's like the wind. They don't get stuck, right? Virgo's earth. Earth is like mm, mud, you know? So kind of take on that like Gemini energy. You you nip it in the bud right away and then you you 
you move on. That is growth that you have. Um, that's from before. This some growth lesson that you've learned where a lot of you have finally come to this place in your lives. Some are still working on it. Um, and or some have already come to it quite some time ago where it's like, you know what? I'm going to speak my piece and then I'm going to leave it alone. And that's it. I'm not going to analyze it. Not going to go down the rabbit hole with anything or question or doubt myself. I said what I said. That's Virgo's energy now. I said what I said. I don't, it's nothing to debate. <laughs> I've thought it through. I said what I said. Next. Okay. Yep. That's like, so I asked for good news and this is the good news. You coming in with that queen of swords, which, you know, male or female, which can, or masculine or feminine, which can be, you know, uh, a Virgo card. You coming in with that energy to this water sign person or whomever and giving them their what for, like calling them right out on this knight of wands energy, this crazy enthusiastic childlike energy that's the so the, what's the good news the good news is that you are no longer taking prisoners you're not taking any prisoners virgo <laughs> i like it i mean i feel like that's a plus for you at least if you're happy about it i'm happy about it right <laughs> i feel like it's a plus it's it's something for you like so you can actually i don't know virgo you got your wisdom you're knowledgeable now you understand things in your life. You know, I'm speaking to a lot of you who are up there in age. You've been there. You've been to the circus. You've seen the puppet show, you know, and you're just not going back down any of those roads again. Okay, so who's coming toward you? Yeah, this person coming in with this selfish kind of energy. Relationships are give and take. And they're, they should happen organically and naturally. I feel like I'm missing some of my Chinese sign cards. Hold on a minute. Let me just double check. No, I'm not. All right. So let's see. Get a Chinese sign for this person. Oh, I am. Wait, I was. <gasps> Hold on, you guys. Let me just grab them. They were all the way, like half over here, half over there. What's going on? I usually keep my area really nice and neat. Okay, give me a second so we can just shuffle these in. So your Chinese sign is going to be the year that you were born. So if you don't know what your Chinese sign, just go ahead and Google it. Um, just make sure the year, the Chinese New Year starts in February. So uh, make sure that, so if you were born in January of 1970 versus say September of 1970, that's going to be two different Chinese signs in the same year. But it doesn't matter. Just plug in your, your, your month, your day, and the year of your birth. Um, and you will find out okay so this is either you or your person both of you or neither okay so we've got year of the pig year of the horse we had a few year of the monkey year of the snake year of the tiger year of the rabbit year of the rooster and year of the rat okay so if that gives you a little clarity, great. All right, let's move on and try to get some of your uh, other messages, like names and things like that. So you can kind of narrow it down. All right, Virgo, let's get into this. Names and other messages, other random messages for Virgo qualifiers oh yeah there's a gambling card yeah this person is um they're saying avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives initial s uh this uh, somebody might drive an suv and i'm also picking up like are this place person plays poker or somebody plays poker Okay, somebody plays poker, takes all the, when the chips are down, it's because they've stolen them all. <laughs> okay, someone is 58 years of age. Someone's from South Carolina. And, hold on a second. And the Southern Caribbean, 
I'm hearing Southern Caribbean. Okay, I'm hearing Queensland or Queensland or Queensland. Okay, hold on. Now they're giving me another place. Just wait a second. I'm trying to understand what they're saying here. Pronunciation is... Oh, no, that's not a place. Uh, they're saying somebody wears Abercrombie and Fitch. Abercrombie and Fitch. Like, likes that style. Those clothes. Is that even a thing? Or is that a current style? I don't know. Okay. So I'm hearing, they're saying, um, someone has five sisters. Wow, that's a lot. Five sisters. Okay. And somebody, ew, that's disgusting. I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I don't. I don't know if this is the word, but they're telling me smeg, s m, e g smeg, smeg. It sounds nasty, but I'm just gonna say it. Somebody has <laughs> smeg, smeg, smegula, smeg. Whatever. I don't know. It just sounds gross. I don't even know what that means. Um, okay. They're giving me um, the G7. Isn't that like a summit? G7. Okay, so wherever that is, is that in like the Netherlands or somewhere? Or, yeah, something to do with the Netherlands. Maybe somebody's from there. And um, somebody calls somebody sugar. Like sugar, 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 sugar fly, sugar. Like sugar, but sugar sugar okay there's a connection to sugar and um i'm seeing someone on a ship they're on a ship and it's maybe it's a cruise or they someone in um some kind of navy or on a ship it's not a, it's not like a little boat or a dinghy it's a ship okay And someone works in home health care. That's like a job. They do home health care. All right. And someone's born in 1971. And I feel like uh, 71 or 72. And somebody's birthday is August 27th. And somebody needs to get gas like you're either out, out of gas or you just filled up your gas tank or you you need to get gas okay maybe it's gas for your car gas for your lawnmower i don't know gas maybe you're at a gas station or you work at a gas station okay just a couple more you guys messages and someone like is eating chinese food oh i'm gonna have chinese food tonight i'm so hungry someone's eating chinese food um ming i'm hearing or and now it's i don't know if that's a name ming m-i-n-g well it could be japanese could be sushi uh just asian food let's well, put it that way doesn't have to be Chinese. They're just giving me like um, uh, uh, Vietnamese, uh, certain type of Asian type of delicacy or food. Okay. Oh yeah, now I have someone in the army or military. Okay. Um, actually, I'm picking someone up here who is active duty in the military right now. Okay. And there's a mother or a grandmother or someone who's very upset about it. 
is like crying is very sad about someone being in the army um active duty military service like they are on boots on the ground right now and they're okay they're protected i'm hearing but they are boots on the ground i'm also picking up three numbers nine one zero okay this is going to be the last one no nope, there that's it yeah that was the last one army okay army all right let's get some numbers here numbers and signs ding okay we have double leo showing up here virgo could be leo cusp leo virgo cusp okay leo again three leos in a row okay that's a strong message someone is definitely connecting with a leo um, and that leo's birthday i'm going to give you their birth date if you're connecting with a leo august 9th august 11th august 14th today yesterday their birthday august 2nd and august 12th okay strong leo energy We also have, okay, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Cancer. All right, let's get your numbers. Oh, I should get like, something a little quieter. Someone's born in 1960. Okay, September birthdays showing up here. September 6th, September 4th, 5th, the 2nd, the 8th, the 13th, and the 9th. Also... I said August 27th. I'm also picking up the 25th, the 24th, the 26th, the 28th, and August 29th. Okay. All right, you guys. Here's going to be your numbers. I should just do lottery numbers and be done with it, right? Um, 162, 931, and 8005. Okay, one more roll. All right, someone is 53. Someone is 61. Picking up 610 and 208. Okay, let's get your charms. Charm for Virgo. Oh, wow. You've got an orange salmon star. Interesting. So somebody might be having like some salmon, maybe sushi that's cut into little star shapes. Maybe you've had that somewhere. Um, or just some salmon fish. Well, salmon fish is oxymoron, right? Just some salmon that's cut into the shape of a star. Okay, also like a pink star, just a orangey pink. It's a peach. It's a peach star. Maybe somebody's having a fruit bowl or cutting up some fruit with some peaches. How can you cut? I guess you can do like tangerines or mangoes, some hard fruit, peachy color, cut into stars. Doing something like that. Okay, yes, so you also have... A lucky four-leaf clover and the ship of a wheel. Remember I was seeing a ship, okay? So lucky four four-leaf clover. Somebody might be, maybe you find you might find one, which would be pretty cool. If you do, let me know. Um, so you might find a, one of you is going to find a four-leaf clover, that's for sure. And that will start off some good luck for you. Um, somebody could also be from the good old Emerald Isle, or have some Irish in them somewhere, or could be drinking some Irish whiskey. Um, or you're at McDonald's, or someone's going to McDonald's, maybe getting a Happy Meal, or some chicken nugs, chicken nuggies. Okay, definitely. I mean, McDonald's chicken nuggies are blah, they're gross. But you know, hey, maybe you're just getting a milkshake or a cup of coffee. By the way, you guys can buy me a cup of coffee in case you didn't know, there's a link below. Just click the link tree if you want to donate to my coffee fund. Get me a cup of coffee, y'all. 
I could just keep on going with these readings. <laughs> and thanks to everyone that has been donating. You guys are super awesome. Okay, we've got the ship of a wheel. So this is being at the el at the helm of a ship steering something. You could be, um, oh gosh, I just saw this hanging on somebody's wall. Somebody's got, like seriously, a captain's wheel or has captain's furniture. Um, I'm just seeing the old wooden captain's furniture or someone lives near the sea and has a lot of sea relics around the house as well are carved wood relics of um, ships and sea, the sea and seagulls and the beach and all kinds of cool sh sea stuff, seashore stuff. Maybe you're going somewhere, um, a lot of vacations. You could be going on the end, like August vacation before school starts or going somewhere with like some, some children or just going somewhere on your own. Um, down by the sea, down by the seaside. Yeah, so awesome reading, you guys. Um, well, I mean, awesome for you. Um, not awesome for this person, that's for sure. Um, this, this selfish person coming in. So, you know, may not happen for you guys. So just keep that in mind. Just, you know, keep your wits about you. Call a spade when you see a spade. Nip things in the bud. Don't waste your time. Um, this, you know, like I said, it won't it's predictive so it may happen for you it may not you know but if it does just remember to keep yourself like you know on the lookout for things like are these types of people so again if you want to get a personal reading go ahead and click the link in the description box below one link take you to my only fans where you can subscribe 4.99 a month cancel anytime i upload every week the tarot readings extra tarot readings with the spicy cards as well and you can also all kinds of stuff you can do there. Book readings. Just go to that link and that'll take you everywhere. Right to my website. Everything you need. All right, you guys. So have a great evening and I will see you all back here on um, uh, tomorrow. Excuse me. For this person's feelings and like their current feelings, your person's current feelings, and then your weekend reading. All right. Love you guys. Make good choices. Love yourselves. Love others. Be happy. See you back here tomorrow. Bye.